Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another video. Today we're going to be talking about what really is Chivalry 2. Torn Banner Studios has a forum page on their website. You should check it out. Links in the description. But before we get into the video, have you checked? Have you checked that you are subscribed? Those notifications on. We have managed to get the number from non-subscribed from 97 to 92. You're doing a great job, everybody. Leave a like or a dislike on the video if you like it or dislike it. But do it later on so you know if you're in entirely sure on that decision. Maybe on the subscription as well, but if you did it now, you're amazing. So let's get right into this. So some of you might have been wondering if you've been playing Mordhau or if you've been playing Chivalry Medieval Warfare. Let's dive a little bit back in time here. Let's look at what Torn Banner says Chivalry 2 is or what Chivalry what is Chivalry 2? And Torn Banner answers. What are its new features? Chivalry 2 advances the vision of the original game with a true sequel. If you follow our development, you'll come to a better understanding of what all that below means. But in a quick list, massive scale, 64 players in sprawling multi-stage team objective maps, complete with epic castle sieges, forest ambushes, and good old medieval pillaging. I will say, Chivalry 2 didn't show off a lot of all these cool maps they have, but my goodness, you guys have something in front of you to look forward to. It's going to be amazing. Next gen visual leap, AAA presentation, Unreal Engine 4 revamped combat system, all new combat moves, a weighty and physical animation system, a new, faster and more natural combat flow, re-establish the Chivalry franchise as the best melee combat system ever made. I don't know if I can support you on this torn banner if it's the best melee combat system ever made, but I'll say it's really good. I agree with you to some degree that it's really good, but I don't know if it's the best ever made. Being the best, that means, you know, 10 out of 10. Be nobody's perfect, they say. So we, we can't have it completely perfect. We always gotta have room to be become even better, you know? Expanded sandbox. Battlefields are little wood things to interact with. Grab a chicken, set it on fire and throw it. Catapult a corpse across the field. Improvise a new fighting style with pitchforks or tomatoes. I mean, this is one of the great things about chivalry. You can just use anything you see and it's great. And you can eat fish and heal yourself. Have I told you? I probably told you. Enhanced player expression. What fun is stabbing without screaming? All new over the top character and thousands of voice lines along with deep character customization provide incredible option for a player, creativity and role playing. I told you there's gonna be role playing servers in Chivalry 2 when it launches. You just wait, you're gonna see role playing server where, where you can buy fish and sell bread or something. You're gonna see it. Trust me. Battered and bloodied. Keep fighting with missing limbs or even if downed a gasping your last breath. Chivalry 2 is about the feeling of survival against the odds. And if you go down, the opportunity to make a glorious death. I mean, that is true. You can, you can do that. So they talk a little bit about the combat here, which is actually very interesting because we have had some videos where we've talked about, oh, is the combat too simple? And how are they thinking? Is Mordhaus combat better? But let's take a look at what Torn Banner says about Chivalry 2's combat compared to Chivalry 1, because this is the comparison they're making here, because, you know, they're making a sequel, and, you know, as they should, they should try to look at their own projects and improve and not steal somebody else's ideas and stuff. I think this is a good thing. So let's look at this. Combat. How does combat work? Chivalry 2012 pioneered a combat system that brought sword fighting to the multiplayer FPS genre. Not wrong, definitely true. For Chivalry 2, we have taken the foundation of Chivalry 1's combat and revamped it to allow for a far more dramatic and engaging fights at all skill levels. And this is, I agree with this, definitely. Left click to swing, hold for heavy attack, right click to parry. The mouse wheel performs a stabs and overheads duck under swings or leap into strikes, combo attacks, flowing from one to another in a whirlwind of steel, reposed as a fast counter after blocking. A revised fainting system lets you play intense mind games with foes and give other players layers of control for the master swordsman. Weapon attacks and blocks are weighty and satisfying. Adding the proper amount of crunch as your sword sinks into your opponent's skull, we have added a variety of new attack types and adjusted the flow of combat to be more natural, flowing, fast run dynamic. Whether fighting in groups or one-on-one, -on -one, the rush of combat will leave your heart pounding and provides a true opportunity for players to create their own playstyle and master the system over time. And this is definitely something I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about this? Does this sound like a good thing to you? Because remember, when we played the beta, we didn't have enough time, in my opinion, to 
to affirmatively or definitively say that the combat is too simple. However, they do mention more here about what about the ballerina moves slash dragging exploits. I can't believe they named this directly. This is great. Let's see what Tormentor says about the ballerina moves. Right, we fixed those. A major development focus for Chivalry 2 has been a complete rework of the animation and movement systems to ensure that combat both looks and feels weighty and satisfying like a medieval game should. In a multiplayer game, it's critical that when you die you feel you understand how you could have done better. Visual indication of all actions must be clear and readable. Chivalry 1 did not meet these standards, and over time combat became understandably frustrating especially against high skill opponents that knew how to dance in a ballerina move with those new shoes on. They didn't write that here, but I'm just going to put that in there because that's how it felt like. Our new approach is focused on ensuring that the transfer of momentum from strikes and adjustment players make in real time is at the right balance of visually understandable, physical in appearance and still gives players a true sense of control over their swings. Chivalry 2 will capture the promise of what Chivalry 1 should have been in the terms of hit detection reliability and combat depth without forcing players to resort to silly, frustrating tactics. Yes, I agree. And now you might be asking yourself, but what about the manipulation of the attacks, accelerations and dragging? Oh, well, Torn Banner got you covered yet again. Will there be mouse dragging? Question mark. Yes, accelerating or slowing down your attacks by moving the mouse as you swing, simulating the torquing of your hips, remains an important part of Chivalry 2's combat system. It is what makes it feel like you can lean into your strike and aim with the precision you would expect from an FPS. And this sounds good. This sounds very good. I haven't tried too much dragging in the beta, but hopefully we can try this a bit more when the game comes out there. Dragging is an essential feature which separates our combat system from a canned animation system. However, we have taken great efforts to make sure that the combat looks realistic and have avoided moves that are confusing or look like exploits. As such, reverse drags will be limited. Swings will have a higher sense of momentum, able to be adjusted, but not without commitment during a swing. And I think what they mean about this is that you can't get a full damage punch if you do a reverse drag where you like slow down your weapon. I think they're talking more about like this kind of tricking your enemy with like either going very fast or like slowing it down a little bit and then going fast, you know, trying to play mind games on your enemies. And I think this is what is interesting about this game in general. They're going a bit different with the general sense of the combat, which is going to be interesting. They also talk about maps and modes. What game modes and maps will there be? Epic battles that take place across sprawling multi-stage team objective maps are a focal point of Chivalry 2. We'll have more info to share about other game modes, maps, and gameplay features in the future. I wonder when they're going to share all that info. Hmm? Tone better? Wink wink? Eyebrow race up? Or something? <laughs> the setting of Chivalry 2. What is the setting of the game? The Chivalry games are set in a fictional universe inspired by medieval Hollywood movies and TV shows. We're not tied to a strict historical realism, but instead we are attempting to capture the romance of the era. Chivalry 2012 told the thrilling story of the Mason Order rebellion led by Malric Terrawin against the ruling elite Agatha Knights. We are excited to reveal the continuation of that story, 20 years in the future from the events of the first game. What are the teams? Of course, Mason Order, for the red and black. Inspired by the virtues of strength, merit and dominance, the Mason Order has no respect for the weak and seek to crush any who oppose them. Agatha Knights For the blue and gold, the Agatha Knights are instilled with a strong sense of loyalty, duty and honor and believe themselves to be your rightful rulers of the land. That doesn't sound too honorable. I mean, it sounds like you're being greedy there, Agatha. Hey, what are you doing? So onto the gameplay section here. What is the max number of players? 64. However, I wonder if they will allow custom servers to do different numbers. Hmm? We'll see. Oh, so far it only looks like it's going to be 64. Will there be voice commands that I can activate with keyboard commands just like in Chivalry? Yes, my lord. We have also added animated emotes that have improved Chivalry's iconic battle cries. And these emotes, see, it's like dancing, you can kneel and surrender your weapon and stuff. It's, it's going to be interesting. What technical requirements options will there be? 
We'll have more information about this in the future. I think they've already released a little bit about this. The development of Chivalry 2. Now, this is going to be an interesting one. Development. How long have you been working on Chivalry 2? Development began in spring 2017. Chivalry 2 will release June 8th, 2021. Four years. It's quite a long time. Who are the developers? Torn Banner Studios is an independent game developer based in Toronto, Canada. Toronto, Canada. God damn. Our team is comprised of... Uh, comprised. I can't read English. Our team is comprised of developers from as far back as the original age of Chivalry Mod, in addition to seasoned AAA industry veterans. We're working with Tripwire Interactive as publisher. What platforms will it be released on? Chivalry 2 will simultaneously launch on PC, Epic Games Store, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One and Xbox Series S, X in 2021. After one year, it will be available on other PC digital storefronts, such as Steam. And here they also answer the question, if you did have a question to why they were on Epic in the first place, why is it exclusive to the Epic Game Store for a year? Our goal is to create the best game possible, and that will always be our priority decision making criteria. The financial deal allowed us to substantially increase our investment into the game that allows us to put more focus, time and effort into making Chivalry 2 as good as it can be. This partnership allows us to do more for the players in order to bring the best version of Chivalry 2 possible with no compromises. It's also a decision based on our understanding of the store that Epic is building for the future, not just as it exists today, our relationship with Epic Games as the creators of Unreal Engine 4, which we use to make our games, gives us the confidence that we will be able to make the right moves in addressing both developer and consumer concerns with the storefront. In the long term, we are confident that players will be happy that our studio has been granted this opportunity. And to be honest, I am really happy they were granted this opportunity because this makes it so that they can get more developers, more time, and more cheese on the table for this game to make it more fun. Will there be an early access release of Chivalry 2? Nah, we, it's not going to be an early access release. We've had the closed beta already. This is posted a little bit before the closed beta, so you know they didn't share everything. And some of you might know or might wonder, can Chivalry medieval warfare assets such as maps, voices, art, and etc. be used for game mods in other titles? We do not permit the use of our assets or IP in other titles. And that makes sense. It's, you know, legally unsafe to let people just willy-nilly use all the stuff you have. However, what did you find the most interesting in this little read here? This was a very interesting one for me because they say a little bit about the combat, how they expect it to be, how they want it to be, how they want it to feel. And to be honest, so far, I think it feels pretty good. Some of the hit detection needs to be worked out and ironed out, but that's probably going to be fixed till launch. Let's be honest. If you missed the last video where we go through what's going to change a Chivalry 2 at launch, click the little eye in the top right corner. If you made it this far in the video, here's a little keyword for you to put in the comments. Potato. Tomato. That, that's two words. Yeah, choose one of them. That, that seems nice. Anyways, if you liked it, leave a like down below. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike. And if you haven't already, subscribe with those notifications on so you're notified when the next video goes live. Hopefully you had a great one. I've been the turtle. And until the next time, have a great one. Bye-bye.